Namaste. 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 And welcome to Inner Peace to Global Peace. Becoming peace for people and planet. With or without technology? <laughs> we are so grateful to all of you joining us and especially to Parliament of the World Religion. How are you doing so far? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let me find out how it is. This is a 45-minute session. We are a little bit late, but I will be doing the introduction, guided meditation, and introduction will be through the slides, presentation, and then we'll share as a group your own experiences and your own prayers. So why did we select this panel? Because we all care for all the creation and share our spiritual practices from Hinduism, from Christianity, and this is where the mainly focus is, but it's a welcome to all the faiths. And common desire to heal the earth, becoming more comfortable with various faith traditions. This is very important to remember that, becoming more comfortable with various faith traditions. That's what the focus of all this parliament is, interfaith. And then pray together for peace within and between people. So prayers for preserving the sustainability of creation. There are two panelists here. Myself, I'm Satya Khalra. And you can see from my bio, but I am a former CEO of biotechnology industry and founder of Path to Anandam. Path to Anandam is an organization. And Path to Anandam, you just pay attention, path to. Ananda might be a new word for you, but it is the blissfulness, the joy. So path to eternal happiness, love, peace, ananda. That's what ananda means. And I'm an empowerment coach as well as your moderator here. So pranam and namaste to all of you. And then we have a reverence Will Garvey here, who is the Presbyterian minister, serving at PCUSA, UCC, congregation and also he's the executive director of the Interfaith Council of Contra Costa County. This is my more detailed description but I don't think you want to go into that but I can simply tell you that I have about 15 best sellers on Amazon all on the spirituality and I see being a scientist I combine the science as well as the spirituality together to unite the body, our physical body, our mind, and then our soul. So the subject of peace, as Dalai Lama just said, we can never obtain a peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. To me, it is a very simple meaning. And the simple meaning is, unless we have a money in our saving account, we cannot withdraw it, and we cannot share it with others. So unless we have a peace within ourselves, we cannot feel it, and we cannot, of course, share it with others. So that's why this is very dear to my heart, Dalai Lama's quote. And how Hindu practice and pray for peace. So it's not that we just sit and pray, but there are certain activities which are very common in other faiths as well. But for us, selfless service, which we call it seva, which is very important to serve others wherever there is a need. And we have to be very graceful about it don't have to brag about it. Whatever we do, and my teachings are mainly on the base of our Hindu scripture, which is Bhagavad Gita, 
you might have heard the name and in Bhagavad Gita it says whatever you do must be for the benefit of the whole universe not just for your family not just for your nation not just for your community you have to have a global interest and it has to be with love and compassion for the benefit of all the society and whatever you do do your best and let go do not expect anything in return which is called attachment so do your best and don't be attached to it that i did it and now i should get something in back so no personal agenda behind it and then we are very much into yoga pranayama and meditation although yoga has become a very popular nowadays almost more than billion people are throughout the world are practicing one way or other yoga sometimes we think that no it's a only hindu tradition and it's a meditation so i shouldn't be doing it because it is a hindu tradition however if you think about it every religion when you do this when you bend down you are doing yoga this is a part of the posture of the yoga so anything we do properly bending breathing this is all part of yoga and meditation this is the original came from centuries from india and uh, we all know that this is a gift we have given by our saints or whatever you want to call it in centuries centuries millions of years ago and people think even a meditation is hinduism but it's not because when we breathe and when we focus it calms us down it doesn't ask you whether you are hindu or muslim or christian or buddhist or anything just do it with your breath and you are calm down this is what the meditation is all about so that is very very important for us to practice that and we use some mantras and we are going to use a mantra for the peace today as well and of course the prayers and the silence is very very important and why meditation swami chidanand you will see him here around but he according to him meditation is the best medication for all the agitation And why Om Mantra? Because it is so simple. Whether it is O M, O M stands for oneness of me with all. Or A U M, A is Anandam, which is your eternal peace. It unites you, unites with me and with others. So any way you take it, it's the simplest but very potent <coughs> mantra. and in bhagavad gita again it says it's the most self purifying and self transformation technique why because when we pray we think sometimes our prayers are answered sometimes our prayers are not answered why god is sleeping or what <laughs> but what happens when we pray with the pure energy when we do it with om om dissolves all the negativity in the system which i'm going to show you how it does it and here is the process just watch how okay this doesn't have that software here so i will just show you the main one just look at just look at that there is a lot of negativity <coughs> in the body now you know the om mantra just put it in your heart and see how the negativity is start dissolving and the pure energy start overtaking it it's emitting from the om mantra and then every cell of the body start feeling that calmness and you are covered with that aura purified aura this is what this mantra does so ultimate peace and bliss is not an instant process sometimes we think like we just sit and how come i cannot meditate but it takes a practice we don't have a time right now here to go into details but you are welcome to go to my youtube channel and it describes how to do the detail meditation how to sit how to breathe how to um, have a postures etc but here we will just have a simple uh, that when we meditate we have a pure energy within our body and when we have a pure energy then we pray and when we pray 
through the pure energy. It's like a satellite connection. Our prayers reach to the ultimate. And that's the key of why we purify ourselves or why we calm down ourselves with meditation or with the breathing or the deep breathing. Whatever <coughs> we do, when we calm down our system, then we can connect with the supreme almighty power, whatever you want to name it, doesn't matter. But that the energy which flows through our body and which makes us to move around, that energy becomes pure because we call it a divine shakti or divine energy or feminine energy which is responsible for all the manifest manifestation in the world. So all the manifestation come from this divine power, ultimate supreme. So by doing this, we have an inner peace. When we have an inner peace, the peace goes to the family, to our community, to our, to the, and ultimately it goes to the whole nation and it goes to the whole world. And that is the power of the peace. So the message here is for all of us, be a peace ambassador, be the peace. So first keep peace with yourself and then you can also bring peace to the others. As Thomas Kepman said that. So now, if I would like to sit down together, if it is possible, if we can put all the chairs around and just sit there and meditate, would that be appropriate or is this okay to just meditate yes. like this? Whatever you prefer. It might take too much time to move all the chairs. <clears throat> no? No. One minute. You can move quickly. Would you? Feel comfortable coming up if we put some chairs in a circle? You can stay on that level there. We can just separate them a little bit so that there's a little more room. Thank you. We have 23 minutes. How much time does he have? We have 23 minutes total. Let's 
Let's all recite Om Mantra three times together. Take a deep breath. resentment hurt you might be getting is dissolving forgive yourself just say I forgive myself making any mistakes knowingly or unknowingly hurting anyone knowingly or unknowingly I forgive myself I free myself from all the guilt energy of love and compassion is enriching every cell of my body, every organ of my body, every DNA, electrons, protons, empty spaces, all are enriched with love and peace. energy, pure healing power, pure golden energy, this light is expanding from your body to all the way to your fellows sitting next to you and to all the way far to the walls of the heart in this room. Convention Center, to the whole city of Toronto. Canada is filled with pure love and compassion and peace and now expanding to the, all the neighboring countries, to 
USA, UK, Middle East, Far East, India, Pakistan, whole universe is filled with this pure love and compassion. There are no walls between me and anybody else. You feel that oneness of this pure golden energy. It is expanding and filling the whole universe. Bless us all. Give us the wisdom. Fill up our mind with peaceful thoughts, with hands, with service to the all. Heart, love for all. May God enrich all of us with abundance, prosperity, good health, happiness, love, and peace to all. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for being a part of this beautiful meeting the energy of peace to the whole world. Now rub your hands. Take a small cup and put it on your eyes. Just open your eyes very gently. Namaste to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For those who feel comfortable to stand, I invite you to stand in a circle with us if possible. You can make a little more room over here if you would like, sister. It would be good for us to know what parts of the world you care for. And if you have a spirit guide, we invite you to name that animal or um, divinity and, um, and maybe think of that one place in the world where you are most comfortable um, or most caring for right now especially given the climate chaos that we live within. And um, so I'll start. I'm Will, I'm from California, and I uh, care a, a lot about the um, sea level rise in the Bay Area. And that's one area that I'll lift up, and my animal guide is a sea turtle. We'll just go this way if you don't mind. I'm Grace, I'm from Nigeria. I carry my heart to women, especially women in Africa, who are impacted by the climate, especially deforestation and desertion and many have to spend so much time teaching water. projects and education for children and helping the destitute women and families is very much very dear to us. 
us. I'm Christina. I'm from Alaska. We have major global warming happening. And uh, I lean into my spiritual practices to anchor me and be guided. My name is Diana. I'm from Toronto. I live half of my life in the Himalayan Mountains. Um, and uh, my calling is to work with the most marginalized black and indigenous populations around the world. My creator is the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, he is my divinity and guides me. But I do believe in the eagle because on eagle wings we can go <clears throat> I'm Betty Zier from New York. Um, I'm concerned about the people in the world who seem so lost, even though God is with them, they do not know it, and they just don't, they just found out they want to do something with them. As you are a guide, as you are, my guide is a seer. I'm Ralph Zier. So pleased and so delighted to South Korea that God has chosen to dwell within the hearts of each one of us. And when we speak to each other, we can address the God within. I, I love many animals. I'm an avid birder. I enjoy the birds. My favorite is the eastern bluebird. Joe Shaver and I live in Charlottesville, Virginia, and we experienced an assault last year by a very radical group, and we are very much in need of peace. Fortunately, we have the beauty of creation in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we can find solace and find peace. I'm Daryl Elros, three hours north of Toronto. Here in Canada, and I would like to suggest that my, my prayer is also my appreciation to a universal God that has created such an amazing world and beauty and beauty in people. And I, I just this is a prayer of appreciation, but I also am very cognizant of those countries that have leaders that are divisive and uh, injustice happening inside the world. So I do pray for our world leaders. I'm Julie. I'm from the Great Lakes Basin. And um, one of my strong interests is in the health of the Great Lakes. Um, so climate change, but also climate change. And I feel very connected to the hearing. I'm Carolyn um, from New Mexico. And as you know, we're at sort of the heart of a lot of um, dramatic things that are happening in the United States, and particularly interested in the children which we have taken from their parents. And I sit in sanctuary with somebody who's been picked up ICE and work with immigration, so it's, um, it's a world that needs a lot of this kind of just breathing right now for us. Um, and I don't know about spirit animal, but I have been uh, associated by my friends with the giraffe because I tend to stick my neck out. <laughs> 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 my 
My name is Harry Elger. I'm in Peoria, Illinois, in the United States, near Chicago. And um, I guess my concern is we're in the middle of the sixth mass extinction of species on the earth. And um, I don't have a spirit animal, spirit guide, I'm humanist, atheist. Um, but I'm concerned about the phytoplankton in the ocean um, because 50 to 75 percent of our oxygen that we breathe comes from them, depending on where we're at on the earth. And, uh, uh, my name is Siddharth. I'm originally from India, but I've been living here in Toronto for almost 40 years. Uh, I have two concerns. Number one, of course, is global warming. Not many people are realizing this, and I don't know how I could do something, take some action, so that everybody knows about global warming. It's going to affect not only generation coming from, from, from now, it's affecting us now. Right now, it's affecting everybody. And number two, my, uh, I'm just so glad to see everybody here. But ever since I was born, I thought there was one, there's one, one God, and who is controlling the whole world. So they are not, not two or three, four, five God. There's only one God. It's so nice to see people here, you know, talking for the same thing. So I'm really glad to meet all of you, and uh, let's hope that people, this message goes across the whole nation, across the whole world, one day, some, let's hope so, let's hope. <laughs> you can't see what it looks like, but anyway, um, my passion is interfaith. Um, as he said, I believe there's one God by different names that he's spoken to mankind since the beginning. And that we need to learn to work together, that our faith practices are like pieces of a puzzle, and we're never going to see the beautiful picture until we get together and connect all those pieces. And then we will have the true message that God's been trying to give us for centuries. Um, I don't know, I feel very strongly about the wolf, so I guess I would say if I had a spirit animal, it would be that. Um, and I'm so pleased to be here and so thrilled to know there's thousands of us in the world that care about world peace. So thank you for being here. So we represent humans from almost every continent, not quite. We're missing some Australians. We have a sister that spends time in the Himalayas, as well as a zebra sister <laughs> that spends time with Nigeria and all of the folks that have needs around there. We're missing some South Americans among us, right? and Polynesians. And am I missing anyone else that you can think of that we need to just name in this circle together? Asian? Yeah. East Asia. Yeah. Yes. So let's take a moment and uh, in our final moments together, I'm just going to invite you to pray out loud or in silence, however, as a group together, recognizing the needs that we've all named, recognizing those animals that are related and relatives to us, recognizing the needs of all of our relatives around the world, human, animal, plant, and rock, and help us to come together and recognize our interrelatedness with one another and our interneededness with one another as well as we're in this space. And so if you see a little gap between you, why don't you just uh, open the circle a little fuller into that space if possible, or if you're welcome to just move the chair okay, if you, if you want to fine. stay seated. And, um, and we can pray over each other or um, vote, being vocal at the same time in this space of um, what we in my tradition call popcorn prayer. And uh, just let it pop and let our prayers join the prayers of each other and praying for each other's needs and each other's uh, loves as well as for the needs of the whole planet and the interrelatedness of all life here.
is so much abundance that we experience, and yet there is so much need. Continue to live within us and between us. Remind us of each other's loves. That as we're reminded of each other's loves, we're reminded of each, each other's needs. Think of the many without food, those that live without shelter. secular humanist brothers and sisters as well who remind us all how we are related. I am love, I am peace, I am joy, which I can share with others. Mm-hmm. 